President Brown, honored guest, faculty, family, friend, and the class of 2012. I feel honored to be here today, standing in front of all of you to deliver this valedictory address for the class of 2012. First of all, I would like to congratulate fellow, fellow classmates for finally reaching this day. <laughs> Regarding our future agendas, we all need to remember that we shared our moments here in pursuing our dreams. Throughout my years at FIT, I was challenged by the workload and the high expectations of the professors, and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. But I also had the challenge of attending FIT as an international student. <laughs> With English as a second language, I had to pay very close attention to the lecture to ensure that I understood the information correctly. I used to get tension headaches at the end of the day due to this continued stress. However, the same thoughtful and attentive professor served as my aspirin. They would answer my questions. They would push me to be better. They would ensure comfort me when I did not know if I could do it. Thank you for helping me to overcome the obstacle and transform me from a student into a professional. And in fairness, I'm sure it has been challenging for my professors to have me as a student as well. Although I feel like I was a perfect student. <laughs> Some of you may have a different opinion. <laughs> If I have caused you to take aspirin, my apologies. <laughs> when I was selected to be the class valedictorian, I was so happy, but I was also surprised because I've seen so many wonderful students here. I wish I could share this honor with all of you. I know how truly talented and amazing you are. I witnessed so many of you staying up all nights for days to create masterpieces. I observed how you pushed the boundaries of creativity to produce something remarkable. I was impressed, which makes this honor even more special. I wish I could have all of you giving this speech because you are all brilliant. But starting tomorrow, you become the valedictorians in your life. <laughs> Grace no longer matter, only talent and your drive survive now. Today you start your professional lives using the lesson learned at our now alma mater. What matters now is that you shine and brightly represent your talent to the world. Our families, our friends, and our professors have helped all of us to become better people. And I want to thank you for your love and support. Although we are here today to close a chapter in our life, our new chapter begins the moment we walk out the door. Our future can be challenging considering the current economy. But I believe we can wisely navigate through uncertainties with our skills and our education. As long as we do not lose our confidence and do not forfeit our dreams, we are one step closer to achieving our professional and life goals. Congratulations, class of 2012. Thank you.